Hello Taurus, how are you guys? Um, this is your live reading from the 26th of August until the 1st of September 2020. This week we are doing one of my fun ones. I enjoy doing this reading. We're looking at the person, your person. So we're going to be looking at um, who they are exactly, how they feel about you and what kind of action they're going to take towards you. Uh, we're also going to get spirit guide message out at the end of the reading and uh, that's going to be advice for you. And we're also going to look into the future as well. There is going to be an in-depth look into the future in my extended which you can check out in the link in the description box below it will take you where you need to go i usually try to look up into about two to three months from this point like the next the next first second third month we'll see how far they show us but yeah so that you can get an idea of what's going on long term so let's do this spirit guides please come in for my tauruses if you guys have been here before you know i do this right so if you haven't been here before hello how are you my name is deborah if you're wondering where i'm coming from with this accent of mine i'm from south africa and i'm in south africa i'm not in america if you're wondering about that as well so welcome to africa guys how are you uh let's get started let's have a look at your person's energy um also because we are looking into your person's energy you can't really reverse it around i hope this is your reading taurus if it is your reading please um hit the thumbs up button you can even follow if you want to because these readings do come out once a week so let's get into this taurus 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 what's going on with your person what's up with them exactly you know what i'm saying they've shown us three cards here guys Usually I'm taking out two, but my Tauruses are lucky this morning. They've got three, so we're going to go there. Let's have a look at your person's energy. Something very quick is happening because we've got an eight of fire energy over there. This is your person's energy right now. Events moving at a very fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. Uh, this can either be somebody new. There's something very quick happening to them with regards to your guys' connection. So this is a very quick moving thing. Um, possibly for some of you, I did feel it can be an ex-person that's sort of sorting things out with you and wants to get things back on track. Okay, for some of you, it's somebody new. The Ace of A, what did I tell you? Very quick, very quick. Brilliant new idea and inspirations. Look how beautiful that bird there. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I'm seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. Like I said, I feel like for some of you, this is an ex that's coming in that they want to make it right and they want to fix things. Um, also, they may have learned some things. If you guys have broken up and they have come back in, it's almost like they went out there, you know, wherever they went when they were not with you. And they learned some truths. They learned some things about... Uh, their life or about themselves out there they may have also learned that they actually love you okay and that's what has brought them back in and they missed you and there was a sense of loneliness this is a beginning this is victory card this is something very strong that they did it wasn't easy to do what they've done by coming back i feel very strongly this is like an ex person that has come back in yes the moon you got an archangel that has come into their energy they've had something major revealed to them archangel honey yield this is a major uh, revelation card for me especially because of the other cards that have come out here what I'm it says here important psychic insights you see and um, events behind the scenes scenes release fears that hold you back this is what I was saying when I was over here and I said to you wherever they went they learned some major things out there this is what they did not know they would learn this is the things it's like I'm picking up a strong breakup here that this happened a while ago and this person may have even been the one to leave the connection. I feel there was a very strong, uh, I'm going to find the right word to put this. It's almost like confident, um, know it all, mm, bossy, a little bit like, oh yeah, whatever. And they went off into the distance, you know what I mean? Good luck, you know, and good luck they needed because when they did go off, um, they found out things about themselves and about your guys' connection that they didn't know before. And that was, they didn't really know how much they were going to miss you. And this has been them now coming back in. This is the knowledge that they learned out there. That is what I was talking about over here. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's have a look how they feel about you. This is going to be interesting. This is how they kind of view you, feel about you. So we're going to see what cards come up here. 
How do they view my Tauruses? Do they know they're dealing with like such a strong energy? Taurus, wow. You guys are silently strong people. So they don't know. They don't know. They miss that. They miss that energy. So let's have a look and see what we got going on here. What did I say? The Knight of Earth energy. There you go. <laughs> there you guys are. I'm loyal dedicated honorable and kind exactly what i was just describing that feeling of silent strength look at that just look at that knight in shining armor over there but this one's earthy that horse is just stunning that hair Ooh. um time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments a guardian angel they think you're like their guardian angel Mm -mm -mm. For some of you, they may even feel like you you have a good influence on their on their energy, on their life. It's almost like you're a bit of a good luck charm for them. It's like when they're with you, things go right, but when they're not with you, things don't go right. Okay, isn't that nice? Let's have a look and see. Six of air. They're very happy that you've accepted them back. This is that energy, the Six of Swords energy. Uh, things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip and they're taking a trip towards you I'm just saying this is this been difficult for them they relieved this is completely how they view you you know when I started saying you got like this silent strength and blah 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 all those things I was saying that's exactly how they're viewing you with that night of earth energy and this is them so relieved and so happy they see that you've let them come back in or you will let them come back in this is an ending of a difficult situation the difficult situation that is ending is your guys separation is how they felt when they were not with you it's actually quite positive i'm just saying so let's look at future it's not not really future current at our energy right now um this week what is their actions going to be how are they going to behave because you must remember one thing if exes are coming back they better not come back and do what they did before they left. Otherwise, they end up leaving again. And it's just like a game that's getting played. I mean, we don't have time for that, hey, Taurus. I mean, really? Do we have time for stuff like that? People coming back and asking forgiveness and missing you. And then they just go back doing the same things again. Let's hope I'm not saying that for a reason. <gasps> Let's see what's going on underneath here. Strength. Yes. Hello. That's a positive energy. Um, their, their actions towards you. Great inner strength release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion okay this is nice i don't feel like you need forgiveness i kind of feel like they're the one who needs forgiveness i'm just saying um this is a very nice positive vibe to come out here um they are focusing on doing the right thing with this energy um they've come out of a hard time you don't need strength unless you face with difficulties and they've realized something here um there has been a shift in their energy. There has been a shift in their energy. I'm finding this very interesting. They completely changed how they view you or how they view the connection towards you. They had like a bit of a wake up call moment here. That's very interesting. Look at this. Look at that. You got a Knight of Earth. Now you got a King of Earth. Their actions towards you is very good. Generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time. You got a nice week ahead of you here. Confident, confidently accepting opportunities you are offered. The Midas touch. This is very nice, guys. This is very nice energy. I'm just saying. Um, this person's coming in nicely towards you. Their talk and their behavior is matching each other. They're not like um, saying one thing and doing another thing. Okay. This week looks very positive. I want to get out some a little bit of guidance for you guys with regards to the oracle cards here. Let's have a look what guidance they can give you with regards to this connection. Spirit guides. This is angel. actually the cards that I use to kind of like ask the angels energy because this is the angel tarot deck. So I'm asking them to give a little bit of guidance. You're also going to get your spirit guide advice out. And we're going to have a little look, a step into the future. Going to have a little taste of that extended and see where it's going. So let's have a look and see. Come on, one more card, please. <laughs> they said, no, man, we've really stuck it out. Don't you see, Deborah? Okay. <laughs> So let's have a look at some advice. This is going to be interesting. Navigate by the stars. And this is the moon card, by the way. This is them. This is them. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, there's that moon, and it's right over there. Um, follow your bliss. Look how they were in the dark. 
they had to find their way home to you. Wow, oh my God, this is so nice. They had to find their way home. They had to follow where they were happy and where they were not happy was being away from you. Am I gonna get this card to actually stand up? Yes, I am, I think. There we go, I think. I don't have something to lean it on, so it's kind of like all over the countryside. There we go, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I mentally have kind of like a, an issue with my cards when they're not straight. Bear with me, people, bear with me. Okay, it's gonna have to be. And I gotta be careful that I don't put it close to the candle. I will cry. Okay, so this person was literally in the dark. They were in that moon energy. It's coming up again. They had to find their way back to you. It's like they were out there in the dark, in the cold, and they didn't like it. So they need to come back to a place where they find they belong here. And this is with you. This is very positive. This is kind of like looking at what happened in this moon card. Look how they had to navigate by the stars. Wow. Dear Lord, this is very out of the dark and into the light. Isn't that beautiful? Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showered on your life. This is a very positive reading, guys. Honestly, I don't know what to say. This is a very, very positive reading coming through here. I like what I'm seeing. Um, this is kind of like aimed at how they're treating you, which I like it a lot. You can see I'm very bothered by the cards here. <laughs> this is their energy coming in. They are like literally coming in to do the right thing, which I like a lot. Can this card like really just stay? Thank you. Ooh, I, mm -mm. So this is rainbow blessings, very positive energy coming in. Um, blessings are showering your life. It's a blessing that this person has come back. I feel like you're feeling happy about this. Um, especially the way they're going to be treating you as well with the strength card and the king of earth energy. This is one of the most stable energies. You got that stable energy as well. They're meeting you equally here. This is positive. This is like, when does this ever happen, people? You got a very, very nice energy coming through. Let's get your spirit guide advice out and see what they've got to say. Congratulations. I'm just saying, Taurus, I... With that rainbow blessings coming out there, what a high vibing card. Um, this is quite, maybe you were surprised that they came back in. And maybe you're going to be even more surprised that they actually changed their behavior. Like, can I have a, can I have a hallelujah, please? Uh, let's have a look at that. The ending, this is when somebody hurt you. This is your spirit guide advice. This is a little deck that I use for spirit guide advice. I know when I saw this, I was like, this is what they did to you. <laughs> This is what they caused you. This is the pain they made you feel. Um, this is when somebody intentionally does that to you. They put all those swords up there. They make you worry. They make you stress. Um, it is coming up in your energy. It is your spirit guide advice. This is one thing you need to be aware of. Um, even though they are, this is not them. This is you. This person is coming in. They are there's two cards here that talk about forgiveness. I'm going to come up with our swords written somewhere. It's forgiveness here. And then there's another one around here somewhere that mentions forgiveness. I even felt like they asked you for forgiveness. Okay, this is the thing. Um, we can forgive people for all the things they do to us. But you cannot make it go away. You can't undo what has happened. Um, I can... Um, uh, it's like when people hurt you, they scar you, you know what I mean? They've caused an injury in you. You can heal from that and you can forgive people for doing that, but that remains inside of you. And this is the Nine of Swords energy. This showing me there is a little bit of unhealedness here. They are mentioning this for a reason. There's a bit of unhealed energy in you. Maybe not even from this specific person, but even from other people that you still carry this a little bit around you. Be aware that this is still there. It can affect you um, going in here. Um, don't allow that negative energy because this is extremely high vibrating energy. They do want you to look a little bit deeper into that. Um, not just like pretend it's not happening, pretend it didn't happen. I'm so happy that they're back. Be aware that you have been hurt by this person and maybe other people as well. Work on healing that energy, especially because of the very high vibrating energy that's coming through here. And because this connection is moving forward, you cannot go through this opening from inside this building carrying this energy. These swords don't belong over there. They may 
spirit guide actually said you may have to have a real sit down talk to this person you may be holding some of the things back that they did to you and not really speak to them about it you can't go into this carrying unspoken words you have to speak to them and they have to listen to you to understand look if this person like did something to you they walked out on you they broke your heart they have to know that they did that to you it is a part of the way we heal to express ourselves is to release some of the things we carry you can't just pretend that this did not happen if this person is really coming in, they may be like, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Let's just move to the future. But it's in me. I carry it. I can't just pretend I can move to the future carrying all these swords with me. I need to release them. This is something major that we need to learn in life. We cannot move forward carrying the old stuff with us, the old baggage. We have to empty it out. And only then can you truly with success move into a future that is as beautiful as that, especially with this person. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, there has to be some kind of release that happens here before it really gets to an amazing, successful place. So let's have a look. This is how their the behavior for you is. So let's have a look a little bit into the future. Spirit guides, give us a glimpse, please. Give us a glimpse. What is going on here? What do we expect in the future? Oh my God, this is a bad card. I'm just going to cry because everything looks so good. Yeah, wow. This is so what they're talking about. It's coming straight from here. You got the Eight of Swords energy. Um, they are asking you again before you move any further to please check yourself. Okay, there is an energy here of you needing to check this behavior, needing to check your energy of what you're carrying into the future here. It does look very positive, guys. The energy looks very good for you guys here. I say it again, you cannot move into the future energy holding on to something from the past. This is uh, within you. This energy that you had, it's still in you. It still binds you. It still makes you feel constricted. It's like you're not voicing something here. Um, you're just kind of like pretending it's not happening. This does happen. We all do this. Um, if this is going to move to, it possibly could move to an amazing thing. We are going to look into the next three months in the extended, but um, you've got to release some of that. There are unspoken words here that I feel coming from you that needs to be said, not in a mean way, but in an understanding way so that this person realizes how deeply they actually hurt you. And um, they need to be aware of that because they're going to know if I, maybe they never realize how badly they hurt you. Maybe, you know, Taurus, you know, you know how you guys are. You show that strong front, like that bull, you know, it's like so strong. You just go boom, the wall just comes out. Dish. But at the end of the day, behind that, you you soft as anything, you know what I mean? And they may not see that from you. And I think it's something that you're going to have to kind of reveal to them and show them like, this is my heart, guys. And look what you did to it. It's like, how many swords, you know? And they will become aware of something. If they realize I've hurt this person actually as badly as I was actually hurt by not being with them, they're going to know if they ever get up to funny things like this again, you will... I don't think ever allow them back in because if they can see the level of the pain that you actually cause them they'll be very careful with you from this moment on there we go Taurus I hope this helps you and I'm sending you all my light and love thanks for watching bye